Alright, uh... Take 50. Alright, it's about 6 a.m. We got the Integra all loaded up over here. We're headed to the autocross. Yeah. <laughs> Before we head out, let's go back and look at some work we did to the car to get it ready for the autocross. First up, we're going to remove the thermostat, and then we're going to flush the cooling system. Now that we have that done, we're going to remove the timing belt and the water pump. We tried several different ways to loosen the crank pulley bolt, but we found the best way was to remove the flywheel cover and wedge a screwdriver between it and the transmission case. Then we were able to get it loose with the breaker bar. Dude, is that... You got it! <laughs> Dude. Missing splines? Yes. This is our Deco water pump and timing belt replacement kit. It came with the water pump, the timing belt, a new tensioner, and a gasket for the water pump. After we got it all put back together, we spun the engine over a few times to make sure everything was right. And now that the car is all reassembled, let's head out. While we take a quick trip around the parking lot, let me tell you about how the day went. We showed up and we passed tech inspection no problem and then kind of got carried away and didn't really film much. 
We did have a GoPro inside the car to video each run, but we had a hard drive crash and lost all that footage. Unfortunately, during my first run out, about halfway through the course, the car lost power. We checked various things throughout the day and could never get it figured out, and we just ran the car how it was. There was a professional photographer out taking pictures on course, so we did get these two awesome pictures of each one of us driving. So we're done with our autocross day. Uh, we both had a ton of fun. Even though the car is like kind of broken and not uh, really working correctly, it, we, <laughs> we were flat out on the gas and it would only rev to 4,000 RPMs and then just like sputter after that. Uh, so. That'll be the next item we're trying to fix. This trip has been an absolute blast. We had a good, we had a really fun time. Uh, regardless of where we came in on the standings, uh, it made it all worth it just being able to actually get out in the car that we've worked so hard on and actually make make some laps around the track, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Next time our car is going to be working when we come. <laughs> we'll get it home and figure out what's going on one way or another. Once we had the car back home in the garage, the first thing we checked was the spark plugs. Cylinder 2 is a little fouled, but that's not what caused our problem. While we had the plugs out, we did a compression test, and cylinder 3 is a little low, but I think these numbers are fine. I went ahead and replaced these modern iridium plugs with some old style copper plugs. The next thing we did was replace this little fuse holder that I noticed was broke off while I was checking the engine over at the autocross. After that, I went out and took it for a test drive, and you can hear the engine still wasn't running right. Next, I went ahead and checked the fuel pressure, and at idle, we only had 17 PSI. I'm not sure what exactly the fuel pressure is supposed to be at idle, but this is way low. The Integra uses an external fuel pump, so it was pretty easy to just take it off and replace it. We just happened to have this stock replacement fuel pump sitting in the shed that we had never got around to installing. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.